This is the disaster video to end all disaster videos. But I'm, I'm not paying that. I'm not paying that repair bill. I'm going to have to load the game back in again. This game's trolling me. This load does not want to be delivered. It's fighting me to death. I am determined to deliver this bloody tree now. Right, I'm going to have to reload, guys. I've reloaded, and luckily, the autosave... For some reason, the autosave saved it as I got south of Paris. Uh, I think that's the toll booth here. So, it saved it not long before the toll booth, which was rather nice of it. So having just stiffed me on the toll booth uh, and trying to issue me with a 100% repair bill from a truck because <laughs> it decided to pick it up and smash it on the floor repeatedly. <laughs> As you do with a Volvo, apparently. Um, it's now it's now cannily done a save, which was rather nice of it. Otherwise it would have been faced with a rather long drive back. So what I'm going to do is stop an awful lot earlier this time, before that toll bridge. And then I'm going to take a big run up at it, basically, and drive right through. But, yeah, you saw what I did there. I stopped early to try and avoid that. Because I did that with a previous load. Excuse me. I did that with a previous uh, in a previous video. I did exactly the same thing. But the barrier then just came down on the trailer and stopped it dead. And I couldn't get the trailer out. But the truck was fine. It, as you just saw then, what it did was pick my truck and trailer up and just proceed to smash it everywhere. Now, uh, what I'm also going to do is I'm going to try and take this right-hand lane. Uh, because fewer cars tend to come over here. So if I stop about here, I reckon. Right. Hopefully nobody's going to cut in front of me. If they do, I'll kill them. I will literally get out of this truck and just strangle the person to death. Hopefully I've blocked this lane off with my trailer, so I'm going to pay the toll. Go back. Oh, wish me luck. Dear me. Honestly, I'm, I'm now... Look, eight worked. Look at that. Hopefully he's not, that's not blocked me from picking up. He's got a Volvo as well. Get off my trailer, mate. Seriously, dude. You better not charge me for damaging his truck. Have we got it? Yep. Right, here we go. Let's go to the right a bit. I'm going full throttle. I'm picking up as much speed as I can. Come on, come on, baby, come on. Don't you dare, don't you dare. We're through! We're through! Yay! Defeated the French toll! <laughs> I will get this tree into France. I don't think France wants this this bloody tree. They're doing the best. We don't want that kind of wood around here. But they're gonna get it. <laughs> this British driver is bringing this bloody tree into France, whether they want it or not. Having said that, there's gonna be another toll bridge in the not-too-distant future. <laughs> I have to do exactly the same thing. Oh, what time is it? Right, it's it's 4 a.m. And time remaining five hours. Oh, I smell a problem. I'm not quick enough. Look, because if it's going to take me five hours to get there. Wow, this is going to be close. This is going to be really close. They're expecting at 8.57 a.m. And I've got... Uh, I'm going to get it there at 8.57 a.m. according to current stats. But that's not taking into account all the messing around with toll bridges. <gasps> this could be a problem. I could end up delivering late and getting a late penalty, which, considering I'm only getting 21 grand for the damn job, and the world of hassle... Uh, I don't know. I can't really go much faster because this thing... If you start taking it round bends, this thing doesn't want to handle at all, and I could easily smash into another vehicle. And then I really would lose a lot of money, rather than just getting a late penalty. So, I don't know, I'm, I, I don't think I've got much choice here. Look, this, this thing's already for tipping over. Slow down, stop rushing, stop playing that game. He's got one! I hope he's having as much fun as I have. Hey, what? Hey! I just hit something! 
Are you kidding me? I can't even see him. I just hit a vehicle. I'm in the middle of two lanes and apparently I hit something. I think he must have moved up on me as I moved over. He's gone in between my trailer. I'm guessing. Well, that's another £320 out the bank balance. I don't do this job for, for profit, by the way. This, this truck driver's just doing it for the love. Actually, this tree is actually a, a giant Trojan's horse. So, I'm, <laughs> it's not really a tree. Inside is a, is a lot of English potatoes. I'm just going to unload them on France. And grow English potatoes in France just to annoy them. Radar coming up. I doubt I'm going to break the speed limit, but... What was it, 110? Was it 19 out? 19, 19, 90? Slow down. I'm not on speeding fines on top of everything else. I need to keep my eye on this, this job. Eight. Uh, screw it. You know what? Screw it. If, I'm, if I get a late penalty, I get a late penalty. As far as I'm concerned with this... With this load, getting it there safely... Is more important. And quite frankly... They should be paying me a lot more than 21 grand for this job. A lot more. The hassle I've had at French Customs... It ugh, doesn't bear thinking about. But on the night, on the plus side... Um, dawn is breaking, and I do like this time of day in this game. Hey look, he's got the Peterbilt. <gasps> Shit! <laughs> he did it again! He's got a Peterbilt. He's got the same colour Peterbilt. What the hell is going on? This game has such a massive selection of, of trucks and trailers and it just keeps coming up with the same shit all the time. Although he's got... I've not seen that trailer before, I haven't said that. I, I wasn't the bad mix. I'm trying to stay in two lanes uh, to avoid people overtaking me. Because even though I've got my beacons, you would think... You would think that they wouldn't overtake me with my beacons on. But sadly, that's not the case. So what do I think about this Volvo then? That's that's the uh, the million dollar question. I'd say I am pleased with its performance. I think it's pulled really well. Uh, not a largely different drive to the Scania. The dashboard obviously is completely different. So the internals aside, um, it's pulled very well. There's no doubt about that. It's done its job properly. I still prefer Scania's, there's, there's no getting around that, but I would give the Volvo FH16 a thumbs up. It's got very clear mirrors, um, it's been pretty reliable. I've given it a lot of abuse to be fair, and it's not cost me an awful lot to repair. Now whether that's because of luck, you know, it just didn't happen to, to create too much damage, I don't know. But on the whole, um, yeah, I, I would recommend this truck. I mean, as I've said before, they do have very powerful engines for, for their class. So, there is that. Styling-wise, I don't think it's as nice to look at as a Scania, but that's just... That's subjective, isn't it? I mean, everybody's got their own opinion about that. Um, personally, I, I, I don't like... Renault trucks, the styling of a Renault truck at all. And I find the, the man trucks, the MAN trucks, to be a bit boring. Um, but the Volvo's decent. I think it's a decent styling. I just don't quite think it's as good as the Scania, but like I say, that's personal taste more than anything. So yeah, on the whole, I'm quite happy I used the Volvo for this. It has been suggested that in future videos I just take quick jobs as a way of reviewing other trucks. So I might just do that. I might just take take some random quick jobs, which obviously don't pay as well as, as the normal freight market does, and just see what truck I end up in. Maybe drive a man truck, a majestic, majestic I can't speak, a man truck, a majestic truck, uh, a Renault, although I'll probably leave that to last because it's just <laughs> my least favorite. <laughs> I'm sorry, but they just are. Um, Iveco, I quite like Iveco trucks actually. Uh, the Iveco Stralis, which the new one that's coming out, actually they're bringing that into the game. The Iveco Stralis, the new style. I don't 
think that's coming in as a DLC. I think the maps are coming in as DLC. And that's due to drop pretty soon, I would think, this summer. But the new trucks, the Stralis and some other ones, I think they're just coming in as part of the, the free update, the free patch. That's what I've read on the blog anyway. So yeah, we'll get the new Iveco Stralis, and that's a nice looking truck. Uh, and pretty pretty good performer by all accounts, so... Yeah, I might just take some quick jobs anyway and, and go through... And we might get some random, random trailers, I might get the concrete mixer. Uh, which I really want to do, I really want to do a video with that. Because it just looks cool, the thing spins on the back, and it's just like, yay! I mean, how many trailers are there in this game where the, the actual trailer is animated some way? Because I don't know many. In fact, I don't know of a single one apart from that concrete mixer. So, obviously, the guy who wrote that has demonstrated that it is possible to have moving parts on the trailer. So why don't other people do it? What else could they have moving moving part wise? I don't know. I really want to get past these guys, but I just don't feel comfortable doing so. Likewise, I'm hogging both lanes because I don't I don't want vehicles going down the side of me, clipping through the log and I can't see them. I'm calling it a log now, it's not a tree, it's a log. I suppose technically it is a log. Technically. It's a bloody big log, that's for sure. Look at the cars behind me, look at it all sat back there going, you bastard. You bloody truck driver, you bastard. Look, <laughs> oh, what a surprise there's a pizza built behind us. Right, let's have a look at the journey. We are two and a half hours remaining, so that's going to put us at nine o'clock when it, the delivery is due. I think we get a little bit of leeway in the delivery. I'm going to try and overtake. No, I'm not going to try and overtake because I'm about to get off. I was going to use that downslope to get past that guy, but no longer. In fact, I'm going to back off a little bit and I'm going to let those guys go on ahead because the last thing I want is to go around this bend and to have one of them... You know, they go around bends, they just... Sometimes the AI just absurdly breaks and goes really slowly. You end up going into the back of them or nearly going into the back of them because you don't expect it. Well, I don't want that with the 58s on load because I will just go in the back of it. So let's just let him go. I wish all of the lanes were like this. Look how wide this is. This slip road is wider than uh, if you look to the left though, when you're making that, that curve up there. It's absurdly narrow and some of the slip roads off and onto the motorways are, you know, they're kind of they're about as wide as a car. You know, they're really stupidly narrow. Even for a normal truck and trailer, but especially for a big one. And one of the things I hope they've done when they bring out this new, this um, the new patch, where they've they've basically rebuilt, they've rebuilt the entire map. And the reason it's taking so long is because they've they've broken the map up into pieces so that modders can work on different parts of the map and extend different parts of the map, and their own team can do that. But what they've what it's meant for them is they've had to retest the entire map. They've had to go round it and look for any breakages in the map, any any errors, any problems, and that's taken a lot of time. Um, but when they do bring the new map out, I kind of hope, and it is a hope because I don't reckon they've done it, but I kind of hope that they've widened some of the roads, some of the slip roads. Come on, dude. If I can go the speed with this thing on the back, I'm sure you can do better. Bloody Scania. Come on. <laughs> a blue Scania. Our customer expects delivery very soon. Make sure you're on time. That's not going to happen. It's simply not going to happen, I'm afraid. Whoa, he's slowing down on me. He's slowing down on me. This bloody truck driver. This Scania. Rebel Scania driver. I don't reckon he's a real one. I don't think he's a real Scania driver. Not, not in a blue Scania. Oh, this doesn't want to turn. Oh, this doesn't want to turn. And it nearly went over. And I'm only doing this because the bloody driver's trolling me. The music's kicking off. I think that's the... Um, I think that's the you're going too slow, our customer's expecting this imminently music. Hurry up. <laughs> a very poor attempt at, at adding a bit of pace. But having said that, it saves him an hour away and it's only 7.19 which means 8.20. 
Uh, that means I've picked up some time, amazingly. But like I say, the delivery, the final delivery, is going to be the problem. I've experienced it before with some of these massive loads. You can't turn into a lot of these depots. And if it turns out to be a really nasty position, I may not... Uh, I'm literally just going to drive in and, and press enter. <laughs> I'm, I'm not even going to try and park it in position. I'm just going to try and get in the courtyard and make that delivery. But we'll see. We'll see how we go. Oh, the black and white pizza built. The ace of spades. Good choice, man. Good choice. <gasps> Toll road. Bugger Rooney. Going to have to play the same gambit. I thought we had a lot of time. We now don't have a lot of time. Right. We know what worked last time. I'm going to pull the same gap. Here we go. Let's wait around... here. The things you have to do to deliver a tree. All because the guy who works in this toll booth can't just, you know, make a judgement call. I mean, where's the assistant? There should be a lane here. A lot of these... A lot of these toll booths are automated. Oh, you're kidding me! It's you again! Go away! Go away! Bugger off! It's a woman! Look, girl, get out of my way, alright? I've got to go back to my trailer. I don't believe you... This bloody driver! <gasps> I'm gonna push it <laughs> push it out the bloody way. I've got to get back to my trailer. You just She's wasting my time now, so I'm gonna get a late delivery. I can just push her out of the way enough to get through here. Look at those chrome wheels, they look fantastic. The thing is, she's I don't know what's gonna happen now because I've paid for the toll. And she's just gonna sit in the way. I think she's actually screwed this up for me. I need to push out of the way totally, really, don't I? Because I don't think she's going to drive off. I got... <laughs> Come on. Out of the way. Over there. That's where you want to be. Over there. <laughs> this is brilliant. I'm having to push a Scania out of the way in my Volvo. <laughs> That's the lane you want, not this one. That's the lane you're looking for. Over there, pal. I'll just sort out the back. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm nice about it. I'm going to line you up and everything. Please don't anybody else come down here. There you go. There you go, love. You've done nothing but troll me the whole journey. Let's see! Off you go! You can do it! What are you doing? Get out of my lane! I've paid for that! Oi! She's... <laughs> what the actual hell? You cheeky bitch! I've paid for that! Oh my god! You f... <laughs> I don't believe that just happened! I really don't believe that just happened! I better be able to pay again! Oh, I can't get through. It won't let me pay. Oh, yes, I can. Well, thanks for that. Oh, toll paid zero. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. It didn't charge me. It's just she triggered the barrier. Oh, that's not so bad. But she's just... Honest to God, I'm going to report her. She just drove through free. And that guy let her. <laughs> I don't believe that happened. That is amazing. I've never seen anything like that in this game. Right, I'm going to get through here now. Come on. Let's make this crossing. <laughs> Hopefully this is the last bloody toll I'll have to do. Come on, pull, 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 accelerate. Pick up speed. Come on. Have we made it? Oh yeah, oh yeah, rock and roll. <laughs> Right, so that set us back quite a bit. It's 7.50 and I've got 40 minutes of travel left. 
Oh my life. This has been the most... Uh, this has been the most f epic journey. It's just been so eventful, full of issues I couldn't possibly have anticipated. And to top it all off, a Scania truck, woman driver, don't forget Trucking Nuts is full of women trucking drivers. A woman driving a blue Scania trolls me all the way down the motorway and then gets in my way and uses my bloody toll charge to get through the toll crossing and doesn't pay. The ultimate computer troll right there. <laughs> oh man. It's been enjoyable though, hasn't it? It really has been fun. If you've enjoyed this, please don't forget to, uh, to, to click like to show me you liked it and I'll make more stuff like this. Oh, I don't know how I can possibly top this video though. Well, these, these three videos, because this has been something else. I have got some ideas lined up for some uh, the next few Euro Truck videos. I've got some some mods lined up which might make things fun. Uh, but I still want to drive that, that concrete mixer, so I might just go for some quick drives, as I said. Uh, and then try some new mods which I've got in the pipeline. There seems to be no shortage of demand for this game. The, the sales of it are still doing very well. And SCS have confirmed that uh, they're going to support this game long term. Which is nice. The multiplayer, I don't know if you've heard about that, but that seems to have died a right death. Uh, wipers are there. Um, in fact, I even read that there were... Oh yes, this is something I wanted to say to you guys, actually. The multiplayer mod as it stands, I still have my doubts about it, but even SCS themselves have said that one of the multiplayer mods, I don't know which one, was asking for people's personal details and asking for payment. For God's sake guys, do not under any circumstances give them your your payment details. Don't pay for anything. Do not. It's a scam. Pure and simple. SCS have said so. It's a scam. So be very cautious about this multiplayer mod that's going to come out because FC SCS have said that even they couldn't do it. It would take a lot of time, a lot of re-architecting to put that in the game. So, you know, quite frankly, how anybody else is going to do it, I don't know. Just before we go any further, I'm just going to slow up a sec. I'm going to save this. All saved. The reason, sorry, the reason I'm going to save it is because this delivery could go horribly wrong and I'll, I may have to attempt it more than once. You've already seen what it's been like on the way and who knows what's going to happen. Until I get there, I don't know what the destination is like. But if we manage to go straight in, we'll be about 30 minutes early, which is just incredible. And they should give me a bonus of 40 grand, I reckon. That's what I think, anyway. They might not agree with me on that one. I'm going to hold up here. Let's have a zoom in for a sec. Okay, it's straight... Oh, it's quite a big one. Oh, that's cool. It's the big... I can see it on the left there. Um, it's the big open courtyard. I'll be able to just go in and deliver it. I'm not even going to try and park that thing. Guys, I think... I think the end is in sight. I think I can actually deliver this. I never... I never thought I'd get this far, I'll be honest with you. I, I, <laughs> I thought it was going to be game over at the ferry crossing and anywhere along the way, but I think it's going to happen. Yep, here we go. The big logistics firm. The big logistics firm are about to have this massive... There we go. The entrance. Kern... Is that how you say it? Kern and Nagel. Wow. I think it's time for a, a final look at this beast before... A final look at this beast before I deliver it. This has been the most epic journey. And this is it. We've, we've, we've reached the end. This bad boy is delivered. Let's reverse back up and get that delivery message again because it appears to have gone where did you go? 
There we go. Hoorah! <laughs> That's all I can say. Is hoorah! Wow! A damage penalty of 4%. So I've damaged the trailer slightly. That was probably all the cars that have gone into it and have gone over. Um, 456, I'll, pff, I'll take that. A total of 20 grand profit and, I don't know, you're probably going to have to take out a grand and a half in fees. Oh, amazing. Absolutely amazing. There's no other word for it. Let's have a quick look around before we go. Where are we? We're in Lyon. Um, I think I'll drive past this discovery point quickly. And we'll go over to the garage, rest up, and end it there. So, what... What do you think? I mean, what do you think about that? Did... <laughs> It's been a three-part video um, of unpredictable laughs and epicness, I think. that That's my view on it. I don't know what you guys think, but I think it's been amazing. And I also think I've just gone the wrong way. <laughs> I think I'm going left because I've gone totally the wrong way coming out of the garage. Um, oh, of course, of course, dude. Of course, you've got right away. Absolutely. You should go there. <laughs> Bastard. I'm going to nip down this way and then take, make another left down here. I still want to make a delivery to that thing though. That's the Aldi. That's the uh, the extra difficult delivery. I'm looking forward to trying that. I want to make a delivery down that ramp though. It's, it looks very difficult. Very challenging. So I want to try it. Hopefully, if I can pick up a quick job actually that delivers to the to the Aldi, although you don't you don't really know until you get there whether you're going to deliver at the store. So it's a bit of a lottery. Are you going right, left? Sorry. Yes, you are. Okay. Let's drive past this thing. I see. I was going to make a U-turn and be really cheeky, but now I'm not. It's a Renault. Of course, it's a Renault. Why wouldn't it be? Let's do a quick U-turn here. I'll tell you what, this Volvo turns very sharply. I mean, really, you know, it's got an amazing turning circle on it. I'll have to try my Scania next time, but it doesn't feel like it turns... My Scania turns as sharply. I do like those chrome wheels. Actually, those middle wheels now should now be up. That needs adding into the game, the ability to raise that um, that axle, that middle axle. Which you do, of course, when you've got a full load. Uh, not got a full, when you've got any load, I should say. You raise that up to uh, save the tyre life, because you don't need the extra um, load capacity of the tyres. So, lift them up, less tyre wire. I'm going to nip in front of you, hope you don't mind. And here we are. Time to reverse. Oh, there's the parking bay. I thought it was over here. This will do. 8.34 in the morning in Leon. In the rain. Time to rest up the Volvo. Engine off. Well, that brings us to the end of the journey, guys. I think that's been mighty fun. Mighty awesome. I'm so glad we delivered that that tree. It's piss pouring rain in Leon, but you know what? Listen to that. I just love the sound of, of rain. It's so relaxing. This would be a highlight for me if I was a truck driver, just sitting on my cab listening to this kind of rain. But anyway, I have to end it there, so um, anyway, take care guys, I hope you enjoyed that. Please leave me your comments and let me know if you did. And share the videos with your friend if you think they'll enjoy it. If you think they'll enjoy Euro Truck, because I think they will. So, take care guys. And happy trucking. <laughs>